have just arrived in the city of York. As you've probably noticed, I'm not the biggest fan of cities. I prefer rural, I prefer quiet. But one city that I do really love is York. Uh, we do come back here time and time again. I try to visit at least once a year. So today is that day. So we're gonna have a look at the Christmas market. Unfortunately, it's raining a little bit. Um, but that's not going to put us off. We're still going to go for a little wander. Now, one of the things I really love about this city is the sheer amount of history. Literally everywhere. You So this here is the Merchant's Hall. Now in old medieval York, if you were wanting to craft anything, you would want to be part of a guild and you would want to be known as a master craftsman in order to be the person that traded best in the city. So you would come here and you would present your masterpiece and that is what would determine whether you would be allowed into the guild and that is also how the masterpiece came into the English language. I spy a few winter roses. Looks like they've got their Christmas tree up. I can see the twinkles. If you ever pay a visit to York, make sure you stop by Fosgate because this is home to pretty much all of the best coffee shops in the city and also some of the best independent shops as well. So there is the Golden Fleece, the most haunted pub in York and there are quite a few. So this is the Shambles, the most famous street in York, always absolutely heaving at the best of times, but especially at Christmas. So the Shambles used to be where all the butcher shops are, and in the windowsills you can actually still see the hooks and the shelves where they used to hang the meat. So can you see all of these deep windowsills? This is where they would have had meat on display when they were butchers. And down here, you can see the gutters. So they were easy to clean. So in this shop here, you can see the hook still here. So that's where they would have hung the meat. They also have had it here on these large benches. So the original name for the street was Fleshermill. And that's because this is where they sold all the flesh, all the meat. I'm sorry, the audio quality is gonna be horrible on this because it's so busy and so noisy. But look how gorgeous this street is.
the shambles is also known as one of the best preserved medieval streets in the world. I'm sure you can see why. So many old original buildings, so much wonky timber all overhanging each other. It gives you a proper glimpse into streets of the past. So as well as Fosgate, the Shambles also has some really brilliant shops, like this Harry Potter themed one, the shop that must not be named. It's such a brilliant place to come for Christmas shopping. It's just such a pleasure wandering around these streets. I think what I need to do is come back and spend a whole day showing you around York because there is so much to see. We're only here for two hours, um, just on the drive back down from Northumberland, from Blanchland. So uh, it's starting to get dark now. But yeah, I really think I need to come and do a proper tour of the city because it's just incredible. The bits I've shown in this video are only small glimpses of what there is here. So yeah, I'll try and plan a video next year, maybe. If you ever find yourself in York, a visit to Betty's Tea Room is a must. 